Hi everybody, my name is Tube Planker and we are playing Sky Factory 3.0, A Year in the Life. Okay, um, I just had a failed recording session for about 10 minutes. I, yeah, it just failed, it did not work. And I just realized that. Okay. Let's take you on another tour and I'll tell you exactly what happened. Uh, as we saw last time, I did the trees here. I've removed the fence, made it larger. I expanded this area. I've got two apple trees already here growing. I've got a spot for two more once I get... In fact, maybe we can get the right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, three, app three apples and a sapling gives us another tree. I believe down here. Oh, what a derpy move. I don't know. I just, I did not hit record correctly. Anyways, that's why we have some machines built downstairs. Wow. <laughs> that really grew quickly. But anyways, here was my story. We've got all this expanded. I've actually brought this up another level. As you can see, everything's flat here now. Um, I didn't want it dipped down anymore and again this is just a model for the time being uh, once we get some nicer type flooring we'll figure out a good great pattern what had happened is in, in between episodes I did a little bit of building like I said I expanded this you can see it goes a little further down there second building let's go in here <clears throat> I decided I wanted a second set of sieves with the mesh in it, or I'm sorry, with the flint mesh rather than the just the iron mesh. So anyways, I built this building, just added it onto the back of the other one. But when I finished doing the ceiling, I neglected to drop down in here and put any lights. So there was a wall between the two buildings, completely sealed, completely black. The sieves and the mesh were not in here yet but it filled with mobs. So, anyways, how do you get rid of that? Um, punched a hole on either side here, stuck a torch in on either side, and walked away. However, a skeleton saw me when I put this torch in. He started shooting. And when skeletons start shooting inside of a crowded mob room, they usually hit creepers, which really upsets them, and they blow up. So, this guy blew up. Took out part of the ceiling, a bunch of the wall, some of the floor. But all in all, um, I got pretty lucky. Uh, I was able to get them in there a little bit. When they blew up the wall, obviously, they had a way to get through here. I ran out, closed the door, sealed it, put in just enough half slabs and so on. I could come in without the stair here. Kill them one by one. I got all of them, no problem. Nothing else blew up, but I did get a record. Oops, where'd it go? Seriously, I did. There it is. We got a record out of it. And just some more mob drops. Why do I have my transfers in there? So anyway, that is what happened in between episodes. Now, the project for today was, and still is, build another lava generator and then get an alloy smelter. Alloy smelters are needed primarily if we're wanting to make conduits, um, whether it be item and we need the pulsating iron, which is the ender pearl and iron ingot, or in this case, redstone and iron. And then eventually we'll move up to this one, the vibrant alloy, which is energetic plus ender pearls. So we're going to need a lot of ender pearls coming up here. And fluid again is a vibrant. So we need a lot of that. And actually built one of each. So let's get these onto the system. That one there. We'll put this generator right here. My piping. Put a pipe into there. There we go. It's filling up. 
we've got this. I had just started making this when I realized that we had an issue with the recording. So anyways, this is what we're doing in the alloy smelter. We're starting to make some energy conduits so we can move energy around the building. Around our, yeah, what I call it. It's not a building. Platforms. Floating above the void. I actually really like it. It's so pretty looking out into the void and so on. It's like being in outer space, suspended in outer space. Oh, okay. So, we've got those made. Those are ready to go. We are... I am going to have to go crush... Uh, let's grab some uh, stacks. So we've got 32 stacks in there now. I that should do it. Let's leave our alloys here. Uh, gold, copper, gold nuggets. Oops, drop in. I'll just leave all this inventory. Actually, that should go upstairs. That'll go upstairs. <coughs> you use this for... Keep those down here because that's what we use the machine chassis. And let's leave our smooth stone here. And our actually, we're going to take our auto hammer upstairs. Now, I'm really thinking that along this area here, this fence, because our power generation is pretty much right underneath this, or about right here, I guess. I don't know. Further. About here. So if we build it up here, this will give us direct access, or we can, our pipes will be, our power pipes will come directly from our furnaces or our generators downstairs directly up to this area. So, this is where we're going to start putting the hammers. Okay, um, where are we going from here? I need food. I only have one apple. Do we have any more that are ripe? I do. I like the trees at this level. It's literally picking low-hanging fruit. There we go. So we're set. We're set. Hey, pick up this. Do we have enough yet? Now we need two stacks of those, which means we should need. I believe should give us 32 of these should give us two stacks of clay balls is that correct? there we go so we'll make the binder Out of this now. Almost make it. Do I have any? I do not have any wood on me. I need to bring some more chests down. We've got the binder. We've got 20 of these. Let's make our energy conduits. Oh, what are they saying? Oh, because that needs to go through a furnace now. I believe. And that furnace needs coal. I'll be back with you after we get this smelted. We have some of the conduit uh, already completed. Every one that we're smelting here is giving us two, so that's a good deal. But we've got a little bit that we've already done here. Let's get the energy conduit uh, done. 48, nice. Now we can start moving energy around the complex. Bring it straight down. 
connect into there. Now, we need to bring it up. It's actually a little bit further over than what we've got down here, isn't it? So we're only a few... Okay. We can run it underneath the ceiling to where we need it. Let's go punch a hole in the... in the floor. Figure out where we need to go. I think we should bring it... Let's put a ways over. I want to get behind, be able to get behind the machines, so that what's that's what that row is. There's the machines. Punch a hole right here, and for visual reasons, let's do that. Okay, but I think that. Hmm. I'm doubting myself. I know I do want one in the back. We do need a space back here to move. We can bring the power up through the middle of them. So if we have six columns, it'll be two of three, I think it's three columns, three hammers. Bring it down from gravel. Uh, gravel to sand, sand to dust. So, or er, cobble to gravel, so three, three tiers and then it'll come out and once it comes out it'll get um let me think it'll come out get compacted and then we want to put it through a heavy sieve is eventually what we want to do but probably at the beginning just regular sieves it'll come out and go through a sieve the power out all right that's where we want it looks like we've got to go quite a ways over So there's our hole. That's how far we have to go. I've got lots of torches on me. Approach, and I've got lots of bobble. Okay. How far are we? Probably another th three or four blocks. That's almost directly above. I want to go one more. So I can put a fence over here. Ah, uh, one more. Right there. Okay. We're good. And let's just cover up. Or light up, not cover up. Light up our areas. So we're going to have to run our power all the way along the ceiling. Okay. Semi. Can I do it in two blocks? Yeah. I can't reach that one. ceiling. Oh, I made the ceiling really, really tall here. Taller than what I was wanting, I think. Okay, how much further? couple. You know, it's almost time, I think, with tinkers. Um, we need to put some modifiers on these items that I have. So I think once we finish it onto that one, yeah, I can. There. And let's bring it straight up out of this area. There, there. 
Oops. That was just really bad aiming. There we go. Everything connects. So we now have power. It's our hammer. There we go. We have full power. Now we need to make or get another cobblestone generator to hook that in. Okay, so let's get this cobblestone generator made. Oh, we need a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. Let's get the water first. And we're generating a lot of lava down here, so it's not going to be an issue. Oh. Okay, let's get over to this. Uh, let's do it on this workbench. Cobblestone generator. There we go. Oh, we're missing glass. Thought I had glass with me. Oh, where'd I put it? There it is. Okay, let's try this again. Cobblestone generator. Perfect. Now, what do we need to make it a tier iron? Okay. And I just happen to have some iron with me. Let's make one of these. It's a tier two. Good. Now the other thing that we need, do we have any chests left? No. And let's make a chest. A little bit more. Okay. Let's make a chest. But we're going to make it a drawer actually. That's what I was thinking. This. And... Okay. Go set it down over here. So for just right now, let's put it. So we got the power coming in the middle. I guess we'll just put the chest right out, or the drawer right out front here. Just temporarily. Temporary. Um let's get that. I think we've got the rest of what we need. Cobblestone item duck or er, uh, item transfer node there, and then again another item transfer node. There, oh, and pipe. So we should be getting gravel into this now. How fast is it going? Pretty good. And we can uh, add extra hammers if we need it. But this will break it down into gravel for us at least. Uh, make sifting a lot quicker. We won't have to break all that down. And like I said, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to have a pillar. It'll start with cobblestone at the very top. We'll have, I think, um, hopefully by then, we will have. That's a tier 4. Oh, tier. Tier 5, what's that? Ooh, blaze rods. That one's going to be a little tougher to get. That one's actually going to be really tough to get. Hmm. Okay, well, we can definitely get up to this one, though. And to Tier 3 is uh, the diamond. Right now we have 9, but I don't want to use them at this point. I want to wait till we sieve a little bit more. So we've got the start of this. Uh breaking everything down. And like I said, eventually we'll have three individual columns, or sorry, six individual columns all standing up and we'll have a cobble generator up there. It'll, I hope it'll look really cool. And then I'm thinking maybe down here we can have all of our storage, of our drawer system down here. We, got, we need to make a, what is a, a drawer controller? How do you make one of those? Uh, drawer. Drawer controller. 
So we need redstone comparator. Ooh, are we going to get another quartz? Loot bag. Sieving. Soul sand. Okay. Soul sand. Hang on. Can't you get yeah, exactly? Sand. Um. Isn't it sand? Pure daisy. Didn't it used to be that you could put sand into what? What is it? Which is water? That's it. That's what I was trying to remember. Which is water? And that would give you. And which is water is made. What are those seeds? Uh, ain't. Ancient, ancient something. I'm trying to remember from 2.5. Ancient spores. And we get that from sand. Sand through iron. We can get those. Or sand through diamond. Yeah, we're not going to do diamond. But we can get them. Okay. So we need sand through that. Okay. So we can get a drawer controller, but we need to get these and then turn... And I'm pretty sure you can make soul sand by putting sand into... I want to say it was a stone barrel over top of mycelium. And you make mycelium by using the spores on dirt. I think. But we're going to do that in the next episode. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Subscribe, and love to hear your comments. Um, tell me what you think about the spores turning it into mycelium. And if that's how we can get uh, soul sand. Thank you very much. We'll talk to. You. We'll see you next time. Bye now.